Kitakubu. Hey everyone, Kita Sean here, so welcome back to another episode of Kita News where we talk about everything otaku. We got some big news today, so let's get right to it. Ohara Sakurako and Tenchimu will be both joining the cast of the upcoming Holic live action film. Ohara will be playing a guest who is possessed by an Ayakashi, and Tenchimu will play a customer who visits Yuko's shop and wants her wish granted. In a author's comment section of the 26th manga volume for Okagami Takaya, Yamamoto Yamato, and Huria Daisuke's Owari no Serifu, Seraph of the End manga revealed that the manga is finally heading towards its climax. The official website for World End Harem announced that Ol Kubodumi will play Chloe Mansfield. The official Twitter account for the anime Eden Zero anime will be getting a second season. The website of Kaijin Kaihatsubu no Kuroitsu-san has revealed two additional cast members for the anime. Komiya Arisa will play Hoen Koharu and Harada Hitomi will play Erobaki. Upcoming soccer anime Aoshi has revealed a new visual, an April 9th air date, and two additional cast members. Takeuchi Shunsuke will play Akutsu Nagisa and Umehara Yuichiro will play Kuribayashi Haruhisa. Mages announced that the upcoming anime film Gotobu no Hanayome will be getting a new game for both PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. The official title of the game is called Eiga Gotobu no Hanayome Kimi to Sugoshita Itsutsu no Omoide. The game is set to release June 2nd of this year. Kodansha has announced that Suitsugu Yuki's Chihaya Huru manga will be coming to an end with the 49th volume. Both the anime and manga are beautiful and I highly recommend you guys check out both. Crunchyroll has officially released a new trailer for the upcoming second season of The Writhing of the Shield Hero Season 2. It has also been revealed that Mad Kid will be performing the opening theme, Bring Back, the anime set to air April 2022. The Japanese cabinet has held a meeting discussing the wages in the anime industry. It's no secret that the wages in the anime industry in Japan are ridiculous. It's been a problem for years now and has been internationally recognized as a problem. During the cabinet meeting that was held last week, assembly member Moriyama Hiroyuki asked the following question. I have heard that wages for animators in China are in order of magnitude higher compared to Japan. Are you aware of the situation? In response, the cabinet speaker brought up that Japan Animation Creation Association 2019 report indicates that average yearly income across the industry has been rising, but it also indicates that younger animators in their 20s are being underpaid. The entry level wages for those in their 20s are as low as 1.1 million yen, which is about 9,500 US dollars. That is ridiculous and it needs to change. Like, it's disgustingly low. Japan really needs to fix this problem. Anime is one of the main reasons, if not the main reason, why people are so interested in Japan and Japanese culture. So yeah, this needs to be fixed. Suzuki Masaki, the creator of the Nanoha series, has revealed more information about his upcoming new project, Extreme Hearts. The story is set in the future, not long after the present day. Hypersports, which use extreme gear as support items, have become popular hobby competitions among both children and adults. Hayama Hiyori is a high school singer who has nothing to do with hypersports, but certain incident sets the story in motion. Its story is about how a great group of friends become friends. The cast will include Noguchi Ruriko as Hayama Hiyori, Okasaki Miho as Kodaka Saki, and Yuki Kana as Mayahara Sumika. Nishimura Junji will be directing the anime, Aragaki Issei will be designing the characters, Aragaki will also be serving as the chief animator along with Hashidate Kana, and Kawakami Shuichi and Fujima Takuya will be designing these sub-characters. The anime is set to air summer 2022. The upcoming Bastard anime has revealed more cast members, and the anime will have a total of 24 episodes. Ito Kanae will play Lucian Renlen, Sugita Tomokazu will play Abigail, Ono Kensho will play Kao Su, and Toyama Nao will play Sheila Tuo Meta Luciana. So a little bit more Eden Zero news. Previously, it was announced that Eden Zero was getting a phone game called Eden Zero Pocket Galaxy. A teaser trailer was released revealing that the game is releasing February 24th for both Japanese and English. 
Tiz Cup Production has announced that they have collabed with No Border Z, J and J, and Totori Prefecture's local government to release NFT cards based off of Tiz Osamu's Astro Boy franchise. <sighs> this is disgusting. Why would you do this to an iconic anime franchise? Why would you make NFTs in the first place? NFTs are disgusting. A traditional doll maker company called Suzuki Dolls in Japan has reported a spike in sales after the premiere of the fourth episode of My Dress Up Darling. Suzuki Keisho, the third generation doll maker who is actually the real life model of the anime's protagonist of My Dress Up Darling, Gojo Wakana, told the media that all 300 sets of the Bell's Kiss line of modern style Hina dolls sold out shortly after the episode aired. He commented, there are a lot of fans who buy his dolls. He hopes that his work will be attractive and modern enough to spread the appeal of Hina dolls. This is amazing to hear. Hina dolls have been a huge tradition in Japanese culture. And um, I would hope that Western fans of the anime would, uh, you know, look into Hina dolls as well. The upcoming Black Rock shooter Dawnfall anime has released a new trailer, additional cast members, ending song, and an April 3rd airing. Asai Ayaka will be playing Monika, Kuno Misaki will play Black Trike, and Kirimoto Takuya will play David. Takatsuki Kanako will be performing the ending theme before the nightmare. Now the big one. During a special screening of the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero film, it was announced that Jujutsu Kaisen will be gaining a second season in 2023. In celebration of the announcement, author Akutami Gege drew a special illustration. Let's be honest, this is no surprise. We all knew it was coming. We're just very happy that it got announced. Of course, Studio Mappa is going to be animating it. And uh, yeah, 2023, cannot wait. So there you guys have it. That's all the news that we have for today. Which news were you guys excited about? Comment down below and tell me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.